The third card is the analog input card. So this card reads analog signals from analog field devices and passes that signal to the CPU of our PLC. Analog means that a device will send a signal of various values for a particular range. For example, a pressure transmitter is an analog input instrument because it tells you how much pressure is in the tank. For instance, it will tell the PLC if the pressure is at 20 kPa, 30 kPa, 51 kPa, 71 kPa. It doesn't care, it just gives the pressure as it is from the process. So an analog input card will read these values coming from the transmitter and pass these values to the CPU. However, since the pressure transmitter and the analog input card are electrical devices, they will communicate with each other electronically. Mm -hmm. So what does this mean? Let us look at this pressure transmitter that is mounted on the tank. And let us say that the pressure in this tank can, can range from 0 kPa to 100 kPa. So the pressure transmitter will convert this value in pascals to an electrical signal that will be transmitted on the wire to the analog input card. Now how the pressure transmitter does this is a very interesting phenomenon which is a pure definition of mechatronics but I will not go into that now. I'll just keep on with our example. Anyway, the most common electrical signal for transmitters is the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. This means that the pressure transmitter will map this 0 to 100 kPa pressure value to the 4 to 20 milliamp signal, meaning that if the pressure in the tank is equal to 0 kPa, the pressure transmitter will transmit a signal of 4 milliamps to the analog input card. If the pressure in the tank goes up to 20 kPa, the pressure transmitter will then transmit a signal of 8 milliamps to the analog input card. Then if the pressure is at 50, the milliamp signal will be 12 milliamps. If the pressure is at 75, the milliamp signal will be at 16 milliamps. And of course, at 100 kPa, the pressure signal will be at 20 milliamps. So your job as an automation engineer is to convert this milliamp signal back to the 0 to 100 kPa so that you can use it in your program and it makes sense to you. So then how do you do that? Before we go forward, I want to mention that different cards from different manufacturers can use other electrical signals such as 0 to 20, 0 volts to 10 volts, even 0 to 5 volts, you also get minus 10 volts to, to 10 volts. But the concept is the same. You just need to be able to do the mapping for the process ranges. So how does the conversion back to the pressure values work? Fortunately, it doesn't require much brain power. The circuitry in the analog input card does this for you. Happiness. 